Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo. Thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, we have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Chapter 32. As yet I have said little of my brothers Morgan and Custis. Twins they are, four years each. Morgan is the larger of the two of the slightly black. From early memory they have used me in every way. At the tender age of five, they tied me. You're lucky I keep you on. Lucky? This place would fall apart it in ten minutes without me. It is every citizen's duty to report treasonous speech so? and action. In any case, you the can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. 
moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and... Perhaps again, someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here.
Corvo. I know the golden if I may. Not Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. Corvo, my friend. Do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. I guess you getting rid of Campbell shook up the Lord Regent.
Huh? Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of High Overseer Thaddeus Mary. Hey, you're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. Just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slackjaw keeps the good stuff for himself. The rest of us get one part elixir, three parts of water. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand. Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat.
town's gone to trash. He's gone! Attention Dunwall citizens, a mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This district is now under a mandatory oil ban. Compliance will be strictly enforced. I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the other two are gone.
found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Should we gather for whiskey and cigars tonight? Indeed, I believe so. Someone's supposed to be on duty over here. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? 
How come it's always me who pay for the whiskey? Shush up your mouth. Not fast. What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. Slackjaw. It's me, Crowley. I'm making this in case I don't make it back. You was right. There is someone once you dead. What's the tinker over the distillery and the whole Bottle Street gang? And you'll never believe who it is, neither. At first I did. That's why it taken me so long. I wanted to be sure and... What's that? Ah! No! No! Ah! So Kral is dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal and Slapjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden card, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the Golden Cat Brother. See that? Slackjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you. Quiet like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to a safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my mass friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. Mudlark, let a tramp like you get elixir. We've been on half rations for a week. I ain't catching the plague. Hand it over. 
No. Peace, it's for my baby. Thank you, thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait, take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Anyone with information pertaining to the death of Harden. Fabius Campbell. Mr. lost track of him again. Morgan's in the steam room downstairs tonight. Is it safe in there? Because I've heard rumors. If one of them gets hurt, I'll lose my job. Oh, that's just the girls talking. It's nothing. Pressure builds up in the pipes and, well, it almost never happens. I'll make sure they never mention it again. Anyhow, Morgan insisted to be in the steam room tonight. He's so picky. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the gold room. It's funny what people will pay for.
that mask. Corvo? Corvo, it's you! You're wearing a mask to sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off and, and the person dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. A market so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. to that nice girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up. are here. You're supposed to be on duty. Come on. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe this. You said you weren't even drunk. Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bonnie? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly. And only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be... retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line and you are out of a job. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. Pendleton's inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Ah! Ah! Retribution! Retribution! Ah, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said. Retribution! Now let me out! Who is this? What do you want? The safe, yes of course. The combination is 879. 
Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. <laughs>